Hi, hi folks. Recently, Pope Francis of the Roman Catholic Church in the Vatican, he made an agreement, or is going to make an agreement, with the communist thugs in Beijing, China. Little background. There are two Catholic churches in China. One is the official one, which takes information from the Vatican and the bishops are appointed by the Vatican. That's an underground church. They have to worship in, pri in secrecy and in private to avoid being suppressed by the commie thugs. Then there's the other Catholic church, which is above ground, supported by the commie thugs because its leaders, the bishops, are appointed by the commies and usually, or has been since 1951, the Catholic Church has not recognized these bishops and excommunicated a few of them. Well, now the Pope is willing to recognize these bishops, I think there's seven of them. The seven communist bishops appointed by the communists, he's willing to recognize them to engage in some reconciliation with the communist thugs in China. Hello? You can never, never trust the communists. So what this in effect is going to happen is, it's going to marginalize the underground Catholic Church, which was the official Catholic Church. So those who remain faithful to the Vatican will not be tossed in the street even further and marginalized. That is why radio talk show host Michael Savage labeled Pope Francis Lenin's Pope. That's it, kid. Could it be Lenin's Pope? <laughs> Making a deal with communists? What are you, nuts? You can never trust them, especially the ones in China. And the Chinese communists are systematically wiping out the Protestant churches. So once they contribute or continue with that, what do you think is going to happen to Catholicism there? Never, ever trust the communists. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be. See ya. Ha 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 ha!